What's happening here? It's your boy Loaded Lux. You know what's up when I'm rolling up. You're now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. Live. Me. RealFansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Domus tripped young and intern Tom For the white and black fans Asia to Manhattan I'll get all my facts from my bro Mark What's going on guys? It's Trip Young, Real Fans Real Talk uh, Back with another vlog First and foremost though, make sure you guys are locked in every Thursday night When we go live, 8 to 9 p.m. On uh, Verizon 44 throughout New York City And that's on BPN2 uh, best sports show on the East Coast, man. Check us out. Uh, next, got to send a big congratulations to everyone that took home a Be Free Award this year. Shout out to the entire Brick. Uh, they're doing great things in, in, in Brooklyn, man. So shout out to them. Um, of course, got to big up the home team. Now, once again, the MVP uh, was awarded to a member of the Real Fans, Real Talk family. So big shout out to Mark. Of course, that's the award of the night, so congratulations. It's definitely well-deserved. Uh, one of the hardest workers out at Brick, and, you know, it's always a great thing when you get acknowledged for the work that you're putting in. So just uh, continue to strive for greatness, man. We appreciate you on Real Fans Real Talk. Um, and, and uh, you know, Brick showing that they appreciate the work that you've put in as well. Uh, so, sh again, shout-out to you, brother, and shout-out to the entire crew because, uh we can't run the way we run without a strong team behind us, and uh, we definitely do. Uh, you know, so shout out to everybody, man. Uh, Pop, Cliff, David, Kev, Ladybug, Ammo, Trey. Uh, you know, all you guys. If I'm if I'm missing somebody, Anthony, Mark, Anthony. Um, you know, everybody, man. We definitely appreciate all the work that you guys put in, and, and it shows because, uh, you know, for the. The fifth time now, the MVP uh, at, over at the Be Free Awards, you know, is a member of the Real Fans Real Talk team. So it's definitely a good look. Um, but uh, with that being said, let's jump into the vlog, man. A um, lot going on right now. Uh, Leangelo Ball has announced that he will enter the 2018 NBA draft. Before we get into that, though, really quick, uh, let, me, let me just say this because I know everybody, you know, was getting that Lonzo, you know, I know he started off really bad, you know, um, but he's actually, you know, turned it on a little bit. I mean, clearly we know he's not rookie of the year. Um, I got Ben Simmons getting the rookie of the year right now with uh, Donovan Mitchell second, but I think Ben Simmons, you know, kind of put a little space in between the two of them and uh, Jason Tatum in a strong third. But uh, Alonzo's actually playing, you know, really well. I mean, you know, seven over seven rebounds and seven assists a game. Uh, not too many rookies uh, have done that. Yeah, you know, we'd love for his shooting percentage to go up, you know, but again, give him some time. You know, I, I try not to uh, put too much on a player until their third season. So I give guys three years. Um, but if you look at where Lonzo started to where he is now, it's definitely been a huge improvement. His, uh, his shooting percentage actually over the last month has even improved tremendously. Uh, so ease up on him a little bit. You know, give him, give him a season or two, you know, the way I do. And uh, and then let's, let's revisit this thing. But uh, let's get to the younger brother, uh, Leangelo, who, uh, you know, you guys don't know. He had that little situation. Uh, in China, when he was playing for UCLA, him and a couple of his teammates got caught shoplifting, and he almost got stuck over in China, you know, for making a foolish decision. Um, fortunately enough, you know, some things happened. Some people uh, had some conversations, and uh, the gentlemen were all able to come back home. But he was um, to be suspended indefinitely from the UCLA basketball team, which led Big Ball of Brand, uh, founder, creator, uh, LaBar Ball to uh, remove him from UCLA as uh, well as the youngest brother, uh, LaMelo Ball, and take them over to Lithuania to play for the Lithuanian team. Uh, and, you know, they went through a season, which, you know, they had a pretty decent season. But again, uh, Lithuania, the, the league that they're playing in is ranked uh, 13th right now is, is amongst basketball leagues throughout the world. So it's not really saying too much. Uh, he did average 15 points a game, uh, you know, for the Lithuanian team. I just, you know, just don't think it's 
uh, enough. I mean, clearly we know the competition is is nowhere near the competition he's going to see in the NBA. And, uh, you know, secondly, he's not the greatest of defenders. He has, you know, he has a decent shot. He, you know, his field goal percentage was all right. But I just, I just don't think that he's going to be drafted. Uh, if if he does, I'll give him, I'll give him bottom of the second round. And clearly, he's not a first round pick. This draft is just way too deep. Uh, you got a uh, Bagley Jr. You got a uh, Colin Sexton, uh, Michael Porter Jr., uh, Aiton. There's there's just so many guys coming uh, out in this year's uh, draft class. Uh, that is, I just, I definitely do not see uh, LiAngelo in the first round, coming out in the first round of the draft. I don't see the Lakers picking him up either, as uh, LeVar predicted, even though he did, uh, you know, he did call it in uh, that uh, Lonzo will be playing for the Lakers to get drafted by the Lakers. So he was right on that one, but this is a completely different case. Uh, we have not seen enough from LiAngelo Ball uh, as far as his playing time. I mean, we saw, you know, Alonzo was one of the most talked about players. His uh, his freshman year at UCLA, his only year at UCLA, was one of the most talked about players in the country. So we had something to go on, uh, you know, as far as drafting him. Right now, I don't think that he's got enough. I don't think he'll be playing in the NBA this year unless it's uh, for the G League team. So maybe if LeVar was talking about him playing in the, on the Lakers G League affiliate, he'll be right. Um, but other than that, I don't see it. Now, one of the other statements LeVar did make was, which I also thought was kind of crazy, if you know his other two sons uh, don't get drafted by the Lakers when Lonzo's contract is up, he'll be leaving for a team that will take all three of the brothers. I mean, see, this is where this is where you lose me at, at Lavar. Like, you really are doing too much, you know, in your son's life. Now, granted, you got them near, yes, but them they're, they're men now. Well, you know, the older two are men now. You got to let them live their life. So, for you to try to <laughs> say that Lonzo, for Lonzo that he should pick his team based on if another team will will take the two brothers. One is just ridiculous. All right, Lonzo needs to focus on Lonzo right now and, and improving his game. All right, and and not worrying about what his dad is getting him into next. Uh, so I'm I'm running out of time today. I don't want to be here all night. But again, uh, I do not think that Leangelo will. I definitely know he's not going to get drafted in the first round. If he gets drafted at all, it'll be bottom of the second round. But I doubt that's going to happen either. So he may. You know, look forward to playing in the G League or playing back in Lithuania. Because other than that, I just don't see LiAngelo playing in the NBA next season. Who knows what the future holds. But for right now, I think that's pretty much a wrap. Uh, So with that being said, once again, make sure you guys are tuned in every Thursday from 8 to 9 p.m. Verizon 44 BPN 2. And um, just keep watching, man. Keep us locked in. Follow us on the web, realfansrealtalk.com, facebook.com forward slash realfansrealtalk, uh, Twitter and Instagram at realfantalk, and uh, subscribe to that YouTube channel, man. Come on now. YouTube.com forward slash for the fans productions. All right. Again, YouTube.com forward slash for the fans productions. If you're watching this, just click that subscribe button. Once your fan is watching, we appreciate it, man. We love our fans. And uh, if you guys uh, do have fan mail questions for us, of course, you can send them in fan mail at realfansrealtalk.com. That's it, man. Trip your youngest up out of here. Peace. RealFansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Domus tripped young and intern Tom For the white and black fans Asia to Manhattan I get all my facts from my bro